Hi, this is Tyler, and today I'm bringing you five things new players do wrong. Let's get started. Number one, only planting rice. The tutorial teaches you that life on this planet is similar to medieval China, and a rice paddy is a necessity. Let's look at the best crop for each scenario. Potatoes. These are great for colonies without access to fertile soils since they have a low fertility sensitivity. They take twice as long as rice to grow and give 0.39 nutrition per day. Rice. Quick to grow but poor yield and require the most labor. Once food has been stabilized in your colony, only keep a small patch in case you find yourself in a pinch. These grow poorly in low fertile soil and only give 0.3 nutrition per day. Corn. This is the best option for rich fertile soil. It may take the longest to grow, but has the lowest labor required and a great shelf life. 0.64 nutrition per day, twice that of rice. Strawberries. Honestly, one of the most underrated crops. Sure, if everything is going well, these are worse alternatives than the others. But it's RimWorld. Everything is usually not going well. I love having these early game and a small patch mid game. While similar to rice at a low 0.3 nutrition per day, they can be used in place of pemmican for early game caravans. At 29 Celsius, they last 14 days, which is more than enough to allow you for most early game traveling. Also, if your chef becomes incapacitated, these allow you to avoid the raw food debuff. Number 2. Open Bases We all love the idea of building a peaceful drug farm, but the reality is you crash landed on a dangerous planet with rats engineered to burn down your shelter. A perimeter wall is necessary to avoid unhappy accidents and keep man-hunting animals out. Number 3. Wood Rooms If you know, you know. Don't find out why they are such a bad idea past early game. Just research stone cutting. Number 4. Food Poisoning Many new players incorrectly believe food poisoning is primarily caused by your chef's level. It plays a factor, but even at level 4 cooking you only have a 1.5% chance of food poisoning. The main reason is filth. The cleanliness of your kitchen is incredibly important. Make sure the kitchen is not the only path to the freezer or unnecessary dirt will be tracked in. Having a sterile kitchen is critical to prevent food poisoning. Number 5. Not making a cash product. Trading is a massive part of this game, and producing silver is incredibly important for buying high-end materials. That's it. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.